Hey all Reddit Jedi here with the best and top Reddit posts from Ask Reddit, entitled Parents and More. What is the fastest you have ever seen a new coworker get fired? 4 or so hours. When I was 18 I got a job at a grocery store, along with three others. We all started training together. On the first day we were training in the evening, and one girl asked to go home, she said her head hurt. They said fine, she clocked out, went to grab a grocery cart and started filling it with beer and liquor. The store manager walked over, and asked her if she was having a party. She said yes, didn't even try to come up with an excuse. Just, yeah, I am, so I needed to leave early on my first day. Basically. He fired her. Reminds me of a housekeeper who called in sick one day saying he had a headache. Showed up an hour later with his girlfriend to go swimming in the pool. Asked him what he was doing there and he says he felt better so decided to come in for a swim. Fired him on the spot. I get really sleepy in long meetings when the room is warm, always, and I don't get to talk much. I don't realize I'm drifting off. I can still answer questions though and I am usually the one taking the minutes which always come out perfect, so people sorta have gotten used to it. We have one meeting room that is notorious for this. It's glass on three sides and the afternoon sun hits at the perfect angle to make the room intensely warm while also making everyone squint. Visiting auditors have fallen asleep on more than one occasion, and we have noticed the ones who don't fall asleep tend to become very docile and give up around 2 p.m. edit. We refer to the sweet sleepy auditors as, kittens, how did the audit go? Oh it was fine, he was a total kitten by day 3. Edit 2, our office does daily mindfulness meditation for those who want to. We had to stop using that meeting room because too many people were falling asleep. Nobody wants to be visualizing their place of calm and be interrupted by a coworker snoring in the seat next to them. At one company, the best hardware design engineer left every day right at 5 o'clock, and usually took a short nap after lunch, too. But when he was working, he outproduced the other engineers and delivered better designs, too. I followed my boss one day when he went to ask him a question. The boss saw he had his head down on his folded arms, turned to me with his finger on his lips, and quietly backed out and closed his office door. He didn't show up the first day, second day, or third day. I had to work a double shift for three days straight. Not fun. I answered the phone when he finally, called in, on the fourth day. He said, I'm going to be honest with you, I've been in Orlando. My parents paid for a small vacation as a reward for getting the job. Would it be okay to start next week instead of this week? I worked at a hotel. A good housekeeper got her cousin hired so they had a party. Cousin was found asleep in a bed on her first day, fired instantly. But wouldn't that just be something? You're fired. What why? It's my first day. We got some disturbing news that you sleep during your off hours and we just can't have that type of person in this company. That beats the person I worked with that only showed up for half a day and tried walking out the back without getting noticed. I'll admit it's a mind-numbing office job where all you need to do is fill out forms for 8 plus hours a day, but it's not that bad. Guy got hired, went through training and all that jazz. First day on the floor, he disappeared for 3 hours and then came back high as fuck on like meth or something. A manager found him in the bathroom aisle, staring at himself in the mirror. Said manager looked at the cameras after firing him, the guy was there staring at himself for at least 30 plus minutes. Edit. Edit to clear up some questions. I worked at Home Depot, he was in the aisle where we sell bathroom countertops and medicine cabinets. We also have mirrors in this aisle and that's where he was. Not in the bathroom haha. Before their first day on orientation. I got hired for a manufacturing job through Manpower, a temp agency, me and a friend of my wife were both supposed to start on Monday at the plant for a week-long orientation. She got into a fender bender on her way to orientation, and called them to say that she'd be a bit late that she just needed to wait on the police to give a statement. The manager told her not to bother ever coming in. Girl was torn up. She took pictures and the police report into the hiring manager, tried to explain things to the company HR managers, but no dice. She was fired before ever clocking in. That sucks. I got rear-ended on my way to day one of a new job, and they were very understanding until I tested positive for codeine on the drug test that I took the next day. Luckily I was able to submit my EOB from the hospital where they gave the drugs to me, but they were ready to fire me over it. Three hours into the first shift. Guy lost it serving an annoying customer in a grocery shop, throw a cabbage at her. The manager came and told him to go home cause he finished there. He wasn't surprised. I was standing next to him, it was an entertaining day. 
put me off working food service for life. I consider it a valuable lesson. Had I gone for line cook I imagine the job would have smoked my ass. As as, slicing deli meats, mixing salads, and babysitting fryers sucked ass enough I never want to do it again. In that way, I consider it a valuable experience. I did like making the sandwiches for the firefighters, they really appreciated it, and it felt like I was doing something right. Wraps though, every customer who ordered a wrap was a fucking asshole. When I worked at a grocery store the firefighters were always the best. They eat a lot and it's a pretty big group so they would have huge orders but they would always tag team bag as quick as I could scan, and far quicker than any bagger. Fun group to chat with as I'm scanning, too, super polite, always paid for their $1000 order by card so I never had to count cash, and never by check either, thank god. They would even always use the scales printers in the produce department to weigh out and label their produce, which, even though I'm a PLU god it's still faster for me to just scan the barcode. I work construction. We had two new hires that were friends starting the same day. Boss told one take a coffee order and come back. Took everyone's money and said he needed his friend to go with him cause it was a big order. They never came back. I called a temp agency to get someone to help me count inventory. They sent a guy over with a cast on his arm. That was my first WTF but I went with it because we were just counting parts. Then I came back from lunch and this dude was in my office chair zoned out and drooling on himself with a can of air duster in his lap. I kicked him awake and escorted him out of my warehouse. Never used that temp agency again. A 19 year old kid got hired to work the seafood counter. See him twice and then never again. Asked a coworker what happened. He had closed seafood one night and was walking out of the store and the 5 pounds of crab legs he'd stuffed down the back of his pants fell out in front of the closing manager. Edit. It was at a Publix. No, it was not Jameis Winston. Coworker. Smoked like every 40 minutes for like 10 minutes. Then asked the boss if he could leave an hour early because he didn't take his lunch break. As my boss said, sure you can, but you don't need to come back. Where I work my boss gave benefits for workers who didn't smoke. This happened because smoking is really popular in my state. Over the last 10 years I found more and more places which don't hire smokers. Personally, as my job requires teamwork, having to stop my work just because someone needs to smoke sucks ass. Not only does he not his job but I can't do it too. New guy started on Monday and was gone by Friday. The guy hit some racking in the warehouse with the forklift, boss saw him do it, and the guy decided to lie about it when asked if he knew what happened. The only thing he did wrong was to lie to his boss. A shame really, mistakes happen, and mo most employers are cool about it if you own up to it. Lying though, that's a bad idea. Edit, no castles or moats were involved. Just the pain of typing a comment on a tiny phone, sorry. I worked for a big home improvement store that I won't name, all I can say is the stores are orange. We had a guy come into work shit-faced and run one of the forklifts into the outdoor storage racks with customers around. Another employee forcibly removed him from the lift and dragged him to the back. Dude was given two options, walk and potentially face criminal charges or go to an inpatient treatment center on the company's dime and his job would be there if he wanted it after he got out. I can honestly say it's the one actually good thing I ever saw the company do at a corporate level. This was just a summer job at a fast food place. We had a new girl start and within two days it was apparent she was an idiot and everyone knew that. You could already see the manager questioning his decision. Then on her third day of work she said she couldn't come in because her mom was in a car accident and in the hospital. Turns out that's an easy thing to disprove in a relatively small town. Semi-related but back in high school I tried to call out by saying I had car trouble and it had to be towed. My boss then says, oh no problem, I have to pick up my daughter from practice who is out your way anyway so I can give you a ride. I ended up driving my car out behind my house and parked it on the lawn to hide it and took his ride. Pretty awkward conversation with my parents later about why my car was in their backyard and my boss was dropping me off. Corporate chain restaurant. New server, aged mid-30s. Third day he was working we had to fire him mid-shift. Why? Dude went into the public restrooms, with other guests clearly in there using the urinal, and started doing lines of blow off on the edge of the sink. I hired a guy to work for me as quality inspector for merchandise headed to Walmart and Target. He bragged about everything he stole from his last job during training and how they paid him more than I did. Well, I'm not holding him back from all that money so I had some big guys escort him off the property.